Hi there, Emina here, and today I'm going to show you how to use a curling iron with the clamp. This is my uh, second day here. As you can see, it still has texture and it's not as straight. And because today I wanted to add some, get rid of some of this frizz, I wanted to use a curling iron. The reason I decided to do this video is because I've always used a wand curling iron because I thought it was the easiest way. All you have to do is hold it and wrap your hair around the curling iron. And then I've seen different hairstyles that you can create with the curling wand, but I was intimidated by this clamp. So I've decided to I've decided to go with it this year because I've done some research on ceramic versus tourmaline curling irons and it shows that tourmaline are healthier for your hair. There are, tourmaline is basically a crystal that is finely ground and infused into a ceramic um, curling iron or a straightener, which in return, when it's heated, it gives you negative ions that protect your hair from damage and add shine and reduce frizziness. So that's the reason why I've decided, because you can see my hair is, when it's freshly washed, it looks frizzy, even though my hair is not damaged. My hair always looks frizzy. I don't know why, but... Um, uh, that's how my natural texture is. I didn't know how to use this thing. My hair kept jamming down here and it would come out even more frizzier. So I practiced on using it first on cold to figure out how to use this and how to curl my hair properly because when I've seen other tutorials, it seems so easy and they were not having any issues and I figured it out and today I want to show you how I use it and how if you're having a hard time on using one of these, how you can use it too. So first thing we're gonna do, we are going to spray our hair with heat protectant, of course. Stuff smells very good. I really like the smell of this one. I'm going to do the section by section so that maybe it's easier for you to see. Sometimes I just go from the back of my head towards the front and I start curling without sectioning. But obviously, if you do take the time and you curl by sectioning your hair, it's going to look a lot better. All right, so we're gonna take this much and I'm going to comb this section and the trick to this curling iron, what I found is that keep the clamp forward and the wand back. So if you keep your the clamp towards your face and the wand towards back, it is much easier to curl. And, and the hair just naturally goes as well. And I like this curling iron because you can protect your ends much, I feel much better when you're using this iron because the ends are not in as long as the top portion. So you see, first I wrapped around top portion and I waited a little bit before pulling in the lower portion of the hair. And then I just wait a few seconds and if you want to go all the way to the end, but I usually like to leave a little bit of ends down to give me that uh, beach wave type of look. Oops. And then you can go like this and see, it gives you amazing curl. And again, Keep the clamp towards your face and the wand towards the back. I think if you use that technique, it's super easy to curl it. I'm 
I just wait a few seconds. I don't even know. I don't usually come, but I feel like the heat's coming. And so that's that. And then on this side, again, you're going to focus on keeping clamp towards your face and the wand towards your back. And you're going to rotate. I got this curling iron from Hot Tools. It's a term curling iron. And I really like the way that it gives you curls. And as you can see, it does get rid of the frizz and it adds a little bit of shine to your hair. As you can see, my hair is not as frizzy as it was. It rotates nicely. It doesn't get caught in. And this also has a rotating. So it's very easy to use and you can also with this curling iron you can do this so that they are more on a wavy side you can do all kinds of i think hairstyles with this i i haven't played that much with it i'm just doing the regular curling when I have clean hair and I haven't done anything to it, like just like right now, first thing I do is I will um, curl my hair like this and then I will add a topper and then I will curl additionally with the topper on. Oh, I didn't tell you the temperature that I'm using on this one. Actually, this temperature is very low. It's a 330. I'm going to increase it to, I think this is 350 in the middle. One thing about this curling iron that I don't like is the fact that there is an on and off. There is a temperature adjustment and this red light. But this light just turns red when you turn on the curling um iron and it like i don't see it flickering i don't see it. it's always solid so i have no idea if the curling iron is up to the temperature when i do start so i i turn it on and i wait for about one minute or so before i start using it that gives me kind of an idea that it might be up to the temperature now we're gonna do this and what I like to do after I'm done obviously I let the curls cool off but some of them are already like you know the first ones are cooled off and what I like to do is add a hairspray and this is the one that I'm using right now it's a lightweight coverage by Tresemme uh, it's a smooth hold level two. Just adds texture to your hair and keeps the hair style. And it's combable. And I've recently cut my bangs, which you can see in the previous video, which I'm gonna link up here. I cut my own bangs and then I cut the topper bangs. If you want to see how I did that, you can um, I'm gonna be linked up here.
so this is how it looks with my hair and now I'm going to add a hair topper and show you how to go in and curl with the hair topper as well so this hair topper is the hair topper that I cut the bangs into it and they are the, uh, the curtain bangs or those 70s type of bangs that are really in and I really like that style but as you can see with my own hair I have a predominant part my own hair if I use it it does not look as I want to I do want to have bangs on my forehead as well so I am going to use this hair topper and as you can see I cut bangs into it and this hair topper is our seal top in beeline honey shade that I've colored in a dark blonde so this is the hair color as you can see my hair is darker than this hair color but because I have put bangs into it it matches with my hair and I like to wear lighter hair during the summer and uh, this is how the beeline honey is like it is an ombre shade with a dark brown es uh, our espresso shade on top the roots and then it goes down into this dirty blonde i would say like a very yellowish dirty blonde and this is ash dirty blonde that i've colored so this is before and this is after so now i'm gonna go in and i'm going to install the topper pulling out the bangs from the clips because some of them got caught and then I am just gonna go in and kind of position it so that it looks the most natural but I do want to have that part that kind of connects my bangs and the topper bangs something like this when I put the hair topper on I don't clip it until I'm satisfied the way that I feel it's going to look okay as you can see some of the hair was under and I didn't even see it so sometimes I have to go closer to the mirror to see exactly how it looks like that and then i clip in two other clips uh, i did uh, curl this few days ago and as you can see the topper does hold curl longer than your own hair especially if you add hairspray it can last you a few days uh, but i'm just gonna go in to show you and sometimes like so right now i am pretty much just curling the hair topper but sometimes i will grab my own hair as well and curl it together with the topper that incorporates my hair especially with this hair topper because it is lighter shade than my hair then i like to add few of the pieces of my hair and curl it together with the hair topper which kind of gives you the illusion of that highlight of you know three-dimensional <laughs> look that I keep saying all the time because I'm really into those and you can kind of create it your own without coloring your own hair but obviously with with the topper your roots is the most important thing if your roots don't match exactly as your hair then it's going to give away that you are wearing a piece on top of your head you know the bottom portion of your hair is not as critical as much as the roots are and because my hair I think this hair color is a little bit darker maybe than my own hair but I cut bangs in in there and you can see that it matches very well even though the topper is a lot lighter than my own hair I mean the bottom portion of the topper is lighter than my hair but the top portion matches pretty well but bangs are also what uh, makes it look good as you can see 
So it gives you that like light, dark feel. And I really like that. It's almost like I had balayage done, but I do have baby lights in my hair as well. But still my hair is a lot darker than the dark blonde that I chose to have. And I go with ashy tones because my hair, I would say it's more ashy and the hair topper colors are very warm. Most of the hair, human hair comes out warm. And this is how the finished look looks. It adds a little bit of a silkiness and it tames the hair down. I really like curling my hair this way. And now that I have figured out how to use this curling iron with the clamp, it is so much easier and it really doesn't take that long to curl your hair. It probably takes, if you are not sectioning here, because most of the time I don't section my hair section by section, unless I'm going somewhere formal and I want to, you know, have a lot of volume in my hair. Otherwise I will just, you know, section my hair through the middle and go from the back towards the front. And it literally takes me five minutes to finish this look. So I hope that you have learned something new, that you have enjoyed this video. If you do like videos like this one, where I show you how to, you know, use the, the hair tools, uh, hair products, um, different hair toppers, style hair toppers as such, please click that subscribe button and make sure to click the bell button to get notified every time I release a new video and click that like button, which is going to tell me that you do enjoy these type of tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.